Greetings to our listeners. This is Dr. Mary Albach from the San Diego Orthobiologics Medical Group. This is the second presentation of our lecture series on how biologics are made. Bone marrow is a rich source of many types of cells. One such group of cells are the stem cells, which has the remarkable potential to differentiate to other cell types and promote healing. In this short presentation, I would like to discuss the process for preparing bone marrow concentrate for stem cell therapy. Bone marrow aspiration concentrate, or commonly known as BMAC, is a concentration of cells that is obtained from a patient's own bone marrow. It contains stem cells, platelets, and other types of cells that are important for healing. BMAC therapy is used in a variety of orthopedic conditions, such as joint osteoarthritis, cartilage damage, ligament and tendon injuries, bony injuries, and degenerative disc disease. The first step in the preparation of BMAC involves the aspiration of the bone marrow. This is a minimally invasive procedure that uses a special type of needle to obtain bone marrow from the bone commonly in the pelvis. This is performed under local anesthesia or light sedation for comfort. The aspiration procedure is performed using imaging guidance in the form of ultrasound or fluoroscopy. This is to ensure the procedure is performed in a precise and safe manner. The injection into the bone can be performed by using a small rotatory device or by using a small mallet for a manual technique. The volume of bone marrow aspirate is variable and is typically about 60 to 120 milliliters. The bone marrow aspirate is then passed through a filtration device to remove any clots or other tissue debris. Next, the bone marrow aspirate is placed in a centrifuge machine to concentrate the sample and separate it into different cell layers. There are different commercial kits and processing protocols for the preparation of the BMAC. The resulting quality and quantity of cells will depend upon the process selected by your physician. That is why it is important for patients to select qualified providers who are experienced in regenerative medicine to provide a safe and effective BMAC therapy that is tailored to their specific need. After centrifugation, the red blood cell layer is located at the bottom. This RBC layer is removed from the solution, as it can interfere with healing. The plasma layer, or the liquid portion of the blood, is seen at the top, and the cell layer, where the stem cells and platelets are located, is in the middle between the plasma and the red blood cells. Some protocols would involve a second spin, which further concentrates the cells and leaves a buffy coat layer which contains the stem cells. The plasma is removed and the cell concentrate is obtained, ready for injection. The bone marrow-derived stem cells is then injected into the injured tissues using imaging guidance such as ultrasound or fluoroscopy or real-time x-ray. The entire process is performed on the same day and is well tolerated with minimal need for pain medications. I hope this was helpful for those of you who are interested in knowing the process for bone marrow concentrate preparation for stem cell therapy. Thank you for listening. Please visit our website or our other social media sites for more information.